Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Let's continue our lesson. Let's have a look where we left. Previous lesson, we finished our entity configurations. Now we will continue with the other configurations. Once we finish all configuration types, we go back to entity, um, sorry, we go back to data seeding, data seeding process and we will create our first migration okay let's continue with the context so we already did the context sorry about that oh we forgot it protected let public okay all right there's a good chance <laughs> okay let's start with the extensions at class repository layer extensions What's that? What what's that ex extension file, guys? This is sorry. This is an extension file for. Hold on. Yeah. Let me let me show you. The program says that file contains all all configurations. What we need to do. Okay. So if you if you would like to add a configuration, you use that program CS to add them in your project. But if we add all configurations here, it's gonna be five, seven, or ten pages. I don't know. It's gonna be massive. So we separate our, we make a separate our configurations, and we're going to keep them in relevant layers. Okay. So we create this class and we do configurations here. Because this is repository and we do the repository, repository layer configurations here. Public static I service collection and I'm giving a random name. You can choose whatever you want. Load repository layer extensions it's perfect and also I'm going to add a configuration here so I'm going to add my configuration my configuration so where is the configuration why it's mm, it's weird must be at automatically at our configuration one with the ins install it's interesting really interesting let's have at this okay all right no problem we edit and give a name as config perfect control kd all right services dot add we're going to add our db context so we do our context we did our context class but we have to add configuration in our program cs at db at the B context so here we go at the B context this is the class what we created here and all done now DB context is added all right now we are going to add our SQL server address let me remember how can we do it assembly no how are we doing it services um square so no at let's have a look quickly no I'm going to have a quick look 
my previous project. Mm. I couldn't remember that one. I'm still looking at my previous project all the time. Until I memorize everything. Yes. Extensions. No, it's not here. Ah, here, yeah. Yeah, we're going to add it in the DB context. Sorry, guys. All right. I just remember that one. Yeah, perfect. We add our DB context and we're going to add our connection here. What was the, yeah. Use SQL server, yeah, use SQL server. That's why we couldn't, because we, we didn't install our SQL server, use SQL server. We need to add our SQL server via manage look at package. Let's edit first. SQL server. Mix of entity framework or SQL server. It must be the one. Yep, install. Accept. It must be done. Yep, it's done. Yeah, it's here. Oops. Yeah, config. We're going to use config here, config, um, get connection string and SQL connection. Is there any missing part? There is another bracket here. Hold on. So now we're going to define what the SQL connection is going to be. So we're going to at this section into the app setting JSON. Connection string ca comes automatically and SQL connection. It must be the same SQL connection and this is SQL connection. It must be, if, if we if we write here just connection this must be just the connection. Okay. We forget our post rows. Yep. Let's get connection. Now, this is going to be our SQL address. There is many ways of finding an SQL address. I normally use connection string com. There is a website and you can find all type of connection strings. Now we're going to use SQL servers dot that libraries let's go that must be this one SQL servers oops mine is 2019 so this is the standard security yeah server my server this database my this user the trust connection yeah we're going to use that one trust connection let's open MSSQL now and we're going to fill the other com informations so what happened here oops it's not resting oh no it's going to be like this all right sorry my bad guys No issues found, all good. All right, let's make connection properties. All right, this is my address. The 
let's have a look from my previous project. Yes, as you see, this is my server address. And database, let's have a look here. Look, database. So it's going to be new database. So I'm going to just write here a name, what I want. Plumbing DB. Yep. And user. Ah, this one. Yeah, it's trust connection, trust connection, no problem. It's all good. All right. And what I'm going to do is, this is the .NET 7, so we have to add something different. And I don't remember what it is. Normally, when we look at the connection string um, website, it should be here, all of them. But the problem is I couldn't find now. Now I'm going to find my latest project to make it. Mm. Local providers to make sure myself. Yeah, database, trust the connection, and trust the server certification. That's what we need, guys. That's what we need to add our SQL connection. Mm. Yes. All good now. All right, we are ready to go now. Accepting JSON. All right. Now our SQL collection totally finished. Return services. All right. Now we are going to add this extension in our program CS file. Builders dot load repository layer extensions let's have a look now it's searching it's searching it's gonna find let's bring the namespace here There's many way to add an namespace. This is the fastest way. Using extensions. Should we add services? Yes. It's good now. Now we need to add the configuration. So builders dot configuration. And configuration is added so we we sent this configuration to this class so we can add our SQL connection in our project okay save DB context save all good guys so our extension is good with the context configuration and entities Let's finish this lesson here. Next lesson, let's get started doing data seed. And we're going to continue with the repositories and the unit of works then. Alright, take care of yourself, guys. See you later next lesson.